house church pastor given five years in prison uh, in China. So let's um, I'm gonna interact with this a little bit. Oh, whoops, hold on. All right, China persecution. All right, house church pastor given five years in prison in China. Chinese Communist Party authorities recently sentenced a um, Heenan, maybe, house church pastor to five and a half years in prison after he refused to let officials place patriotic slogans in his church. He's right for not allowing that, right? Screw the Chinese Communist Party. Screw that worldview. Um, pastor Lee, uh, Junkai, um, maybe, I'm probably botching that name also received a fine of more than 7,000 um, USD. So, communism, Marxism, so a socialistic, communistic, Marxist worldview is the leading, one of the, if not the top leading um, persecutor of Christians like ever. I mean, we see this well, it, in our in, in our modern time, we see this in China. We see this in North Korea. Communism sucks. Um, yeah. Just get rid of that. So pray for him. Pray for his family. And go read that for yourself. Um, that's China. China's evil. Like their their government is one of the most evil governments of our day. All right, but I'm gonna get Bible Hub back out real quick and interact with it, and let's go to um yeah, First Corinthians. 15. All right, and I'm just going to leave that there like that. Okay. So, done with that mouse because it's the last thing I got to do here. All right, so I always end the show with a gospel presentation, proclamation of Christ as King. The message of Christianity, the message of the Bible is the gospel, right? So, imagine you have a criminal who breaks the law, he's guilty, stands before a judge, he's going to be punished with either jail time or the death penalty. If the judge is just and actually cares about justice, right? Well, in the same way, all human beings, excluding Christ, of course, have a sinful nature and sin and break God's law, the Ten Commandments, right? All of us have committed idolatry, have, have had other gods before God, have uh, broken the Sabbath, right? Have dishonored our parents. We've hated, we've lusted, and according to Jesus... Um, that is adultery and murder of the heart. Some people have actually committed adultery and have actually murdered. We've stolen things, right? We have uh, lied to people. Um, we've coveted and we've taken God's name in vain. We're, we're all guilty of these things. Um, and God is a just judge who will send people to hell forever for their sins. Um, but if someone pays the fine and the debt or bails out the criminal, they can go free even though they committed the crimes. That's like what Christ did. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the second person of the Trinity, the one who is truly God and truly man, lived a perfect sinless life to give righteousness to those who are unrighteous. He died on the cross to give atonement and forgiveness uh, to people who need atonement and forgiveness, sinners. And he rose from the dead three days after his crucifixion. After, three days after he died on the cross, he rose from the dead, forever defeating sin and death, to give eternal life uh, in a glorified body, right? Uh, in the future, of course, to people who are dead in their sin. Um, so Christ is the one that bails us out of God's wrath through his sinless life, atoning death, and uh, death-defeating victorious resurrection, right? So imagine you are going to go on death row, or that you're on death row, you're going to get the death penalty, someone takes it for you and you get to go free. That's like what Christ did. Christ bears the penalty in our place so that we don't have to bear it. Um, but, you know, if you want to be bailed out of God's wrath by Christ, 
um, you must turn from your sin, repent, right? That's what repentance is, and place your faith and trust alone in Christ alone for salvation. You must repent and believe in the gospel, believe in Christ. And uh, Christ is also king, right? He is king of kings. He is Lord of lords. His kingdom is on the earth. Um, he is putting all enemies under his feet right now. He's on his throne. He's ruling and he's reigning and he will win the world. Um, his kingdom will put all, of, uh, all other enemies will be defeated. Um, so, um, Christ is savior. Christ is king. Christ is Lord. Christ is the only one where salvation is is found. So, um, that is it for my show today. That's all I got. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I hope if you listened this far anyway, you probably didn't. Um, but, uh, as you can see on my screen right here, uh, I have a bunch of social media stuff and online stuff. Please follow me on my Facebook page, my Instagram, my Twitch, my TikTok and my Gab, Gab Social and Gab TV. Loving the Coup is the username for all of those. I post all my YouTube videos to Gab TV and share clips from all of my videos to my um, Instagram and TikTok, and some of them go to my Facebook page. And um, get me on Twitch. I plan to start that at some point, playing games on there and um, streaming games on there and things like that. But. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, stay tuned for more content and um, peace out.